Catherine Warham is getting ready for the Christie's Night of Neon. She lost her mum to cancer as a child, as well as her cousin, and her dad is now suffering with skin cancer. The event tonight is solely um, for my cousin, uh, Tricia. Uh, she's just part of the reason why we walk tonight. My mother did die at the Christie's from breast cancer. The last experience I ever had with my mum was uh, one of my aunties took me on the bus, as you do, and we weren't really allowed to go into the ward. Um, she had to come to the fire exit door. The last thing she said to me was she'd give me 30p and said get some sweets, and that was the last time I ever saw her alive. She died after that. Despite the suffering, Catherine is standing up to cancer and raising money for the place so close to her heart. The fundraiser kicked off with music from Northern Band Vintage, activities including face painting and a vigorous warm-up. The Christie is a place close to many people's hearts, so why are nights like tonight so important for the charity? The Christie charity needs to raise over 14 million a year um, to support the, the work of the Christie, and events like this make over, up over two million of that income, and we're really lucky that we have a lot of local support. Many participants have personal stories involving cancer. I've got a mate here, an old mate, her husband died of cancer, my wife's got leukaemia and my granddad had cancer and that's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because firstly my two uncles died of cancer about four years ago and my mum's sister died about two years ago and my mum's now got ovarian cancer and she's been treated with chemotherapy at the Christie so I've just been inspired by the work of the hospital. Cancer patients may be driven to very dark places but this evening sufferers and supporters alike shone through that darkness and lit up the night. Penny James, Keys TV News.